So this will just be a very quick video to show how the new Hornby HM7040 Bluetooth legacy dongle can work with a TTS chip. In the Hall Plus logo that I have here, I've got a TTS chip fitted. It's fitted with actually a Castle Class um, chip because I couldn't get a Hall Class chip at the time, but it was as close as I could manage. So the first thing I want to do is just check to make sure that it runs as it should do on straight DCC before I try and chip it. So we have the controller set to 49 and we will set it off running. And there it goes, running away quite happily. Let's see if we can turn the sound on. And as can be heard, the sound is working. Okay, so to add the hall to my roster, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Engine Shed and I'm going to create a new vehicle. And then we'll tell it its address and then say what it is. No, let's not go for food. Rude. Ashton Hall. And then I'm going to import a function map. Now the only way I found of doing this was by putting a function map on a non-sound loco and then exporting it, which was a bit of a faffy way of doing it. So I've imported it and I've called it castle. So I'm going to import that now. So I've now imported that. So if I go back to settings, Where is it hidden, my new one? Uh, it's not on me yet because I've not assigned it a decoder. So I now need to assign this its decoder. There we go. We've assigned the decoder. So I've now got Rude Ashton Hall there. Next thing I'm going to do for that, just so that I know which one it is, I'm going to add a photo. Let's take a photo. Have to just move it all back so we can get in the right frame. Is that about halfway up? About there. And let's click on use photo. There we go. We've got a photo of the loco. I can see the loco just above. Let's see. The local will run. Right, first things first. Let's move this back a fraction. Sound on. Ooh, why is that not working? I wonder if it will just run. Sound off. So why is that not wanting to run? There is a good question. So we've got it set on the decoder. The decoder can be seen. We've got the address of 49, and I know that's the address for this loco. We've got a function map. Let's just rock it off. And then rock it back on again a moment. That's, we've got some sound. So sound on. Whistle. And away we go. It's not quite as intuitive as just using a normal DCC decoder, but it does work and I think that's acceptable. So that's the way I have managed to do that. Thank you for watching. Okay, so although I've got this on the wrong one, I can turn the sound on. I can blow whistles. I've got the 
the sound of slipping. We've got coal shoveling. The blowdown's working. The safety valve's working. Okay, so we've got two pages. We've got the injector. Brake squeal. Guard whistle. Okay, so we've got all the basics added into it, but they're on the wrong one. So I will need to look and work out which way round to do that.